Hey guys, this is Crazy Kylo bringing you a Fall Guys video where we're going to break down the obstacles for Seesaw and go over some tips and tricks on this level to help you guys get on through your qualifiers. So with that, let's get into it. So here's the quick preview of the level. I'm going to break this down into three sections. So the first thing you should notice is your positioning. The positioning in this level can be pretty important early on as the beginning section is kind of a mess. So what makes this level so difficult is that when there's enough people standing on one side of a seesaw, it gets tilted to about an 80 degree angle, and once it hits that point, you will likely fall off. The main strategy for this level is using a diving technique where you want to jump and dive as late as possible onto the next seesaw. This allows you to stand up quicker and can also help you land on seesaws that have a lot of tilts already. So the first section is usually the most important because if you get ahead of the pack, you should have an easier time jumping from seesaw to seesaw, but if you're caught in the middle to the back of the pack, things will be difficult as you will need to follow the crowd and pay more attention to upcoming seesaws to see where you should be heading next. An issue you may run into is let's say that you get past the first section ahead of most people, but as you are about to get through the second section, you fall off. Now you have spawned on the side where the seesaw is up and everyone is on the other side, which means you can't do anything. If this does happen, you want to turn around immediately and go to the other side, because if half the lobby is on one side, then you will never see the seesaw be balanced until everyone on that one side has passed. One thing to keep in mind on this level is to have patience. As you can see, I sat and waited to jump on the seesaw because had a couple more people been on it, it could have tilted to 80 degrees and then I would have fallen even if I would have dive teched. Another thing you want to do is look ahead. If you're in the back, it helps to look and see what the upcoming seesaws are leaning as you can plan a route to be on the lower side. It also helps to try and work with other people on your seesaw by gathering to one side together so you can raise the seesaw faster and you all can move on to the next section together. When you're on the second section, it also helps to try to make your way to this middle seesaw where there's three in a line as this allows you to go left or right depending on which direction the last seesaw is leaning. In the last section, I thought I'd break down since this is where most people get stuck. So the seesaws are in a 1-2-1-1 one, one alignment. So what makes it hard is you need to be looking ahead of you to see where the third line seesaw is leaning as this determines if you need to go left or right. So right here, I decided to go to the left since that's where the majority was and because no one was on the right side, which means the seesaw would balance out. For this attempt, you can see I was going to go to the left and then went to the right because there were two people on the right, which means that third line seesaw would be lower on the right and it would make it easier to progress to the finish. In the last seesaw, you just need to get some tilts in one direction and then run up the other direction so you have a nice easy jump to the finish. The last thing I want to point out is that this can be a very long level, but there is a timer for it so if you do make it to the end, don't mess around for too long or you could end up not qualifying like these guys. Hopefully this breakdown of Seesaw helps you guys. If you guys have any tips or tricks I didn't cover, feel free to drop them below in the comments. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. And if you want to see more Fall Guys breakdown videos, hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.